assalamu alaikum everyone now these are the numericals concerning the time period so let us read the numerical find length of the second pendulum at the surface of the earth okay so this first sentence has given us three informations number one thing is that we need to find the length so length is question mark and then we need to find the second and then we are given the second pendulum and we always know that for the second pendulum our time period will be two seconds and at the surface of the earth so this means that our gravity will be 9.8 meters per second square or you can also take 9 10 meters per second square as you wish so th this is the three information that we get by reading the first sentence and then the next part is find the time period on the jupiter so we need to find the time period on the jupiter that is our requirement now the condition is where gravitational acceleration is 2.63 times times means by multiplying it so we're going to simply write that gravity j is equals to gravity in the jupiter is 2.63 times means multiply the as that in surface of earth so we uh, we are aware that in surface of earth is 9.8 so we're going to multiply it and uh, i guess yes we get the answer 20 25.77 meters per second square these are all the information that we got from reading the question only. So the, for the first step, I guess you all are aware to find the length on the uh, on the earth. It is very easy. We use the formula t is equal to 2 pi l upon g. And uh, here only the length is unknown. And uh, t is equal to 2 seconds. And 2 multiplied by 3.14 l is unknown. And gravity is 9.8 meters per second square. Now... The physics uh, work was only to understand what the given data and the two uh, required is, and now this is all ma mathematics. So three point one four multiplied by two is six point two eight, and uh, then we just then either multiply or to the jacket divide or jaga two divided by six point two eight is equal to L upon nine point eight. Isko divide karenge to hamare paas answer one point three one eight five or L upon 9.8 under root. Now, under root, ko hatane ke liye, you are well aware that we square root. Lete. Square root, we have square root 0.3185 per square root and L upon 9.8 per square root. So, we are going to write that taking square 0.3185 square is equal to L upon 9.8. Square root cancel ho gaya, to hamare paas is 0.3185 ka square hai, 0, L is equal to, isse multiply ho ke, aap ka equity se aram se ka shakte hai, 0.1014 aake, 9.8 se multiply ho ke, hamare paas answer ajayega, 0.99. Ab ye baat hum is tarah rectify ka shakte hai, ke jo second pendulum hai, uski hamesha length hamare paas 0.99 meter aati hai. So, jay first part complete ho gaya. Ab second part hum se kya poochhe, ke hamare time period on Jupiter find karna hai. So, this is not any rocket science, but you are simply asking you to ask you to confuse but you will apply that formula that the time period is equal to time period of Jupiter is equal to 2 pi but it will change what will happen that the gravity is not GE on Earth, it is not on Jupiter so gravity we will use gravity on Jupiter because we have given the gravity on Jupiter and the length of gravity is the same that the length of gravity is the same वो सेम होती है इधर सरफेस ऑफ अर्थ पर हो या फिर जुपिटर पे हो लेंथ हमें सेम होती है ना इमेजिन दिस अगर आप मार्स पे जाएं आप जुपिटर पे जाएं तो आपकी जो लेंथ है हाइट है वो चेंज तो नहीं होगी ना यू विल ऑलवेज बी इफ यू आर 5.6 यू विल ऑलवेज बी 5.6 सो दिस इज द केस हियर अब हम इधर वैल्यूज पुट कर रहे हैं 2 मल्टीप्लाई बाय 3.14 एंड 0.99 अब इधर अगर ये जुपिटर की जगह सैटर्न दे दें मार्स दे दें वीनस दे दें कुछ भी दे दें और इसके साथ इसकी ग्रेविटी दे दें so simply we are going to put the values and we are going to use the gravity and we are going to find the time period. There is no need to be confused in this. So simply you solve it with mathematics, you can multiply it with 3.14 and you can multiply it with 2. So you can obtain the answer 1.23 seconds which is our time period in the Jupiter with the gravity 25.77 meters.